Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a uh, Mauser broom handle uh, pre-World War I commercial gun that uh, actually saw service after World War II with the Weimar and possibly the early Nazi government. And this is a standard broom handle from that uh, from the pre-World War I time period, probably about 19... 12 or so from the serial number. Uh, you're pushing 200,000 on this one. I think it's in the 190s. Yeah, you're looking at uh, your 190s with this gun. Very standard gun, except it is marked RFV. And then you have the weapon number. The RFV was a German word that I will absolutely not even try to pronounce, but it stood for the Reich's Finance Ministry. And those were uh, tax collectors, customs and border police, and um, sort of anyone that would be uh, collecting duties and things like that. Now, I've heard that these were used as border guard guns. I am not uh, absolutely not sure about that. I do know that these were issued, though, to... Uh, people in the RFV, and it could have well been a border guard gun. It could have also just been an agent's gun. Um, obviously, at the time, after World War I, Germany was kind of starved for weapons, and so to have a broom handle laying around uh, for your sort of rear echelon guys who are collecting taxes or guarding the border would make a lot of sense. And RFV guns do exist there are there are quite a few actually floating around it was a large organization and they are going to be marked in something similar to this on the side usually on the left side uh, you know that's not always going to be the case but generally it's going to be rfv with a three or four digit number otherwise this is a very standard broom handle although it's got something that we will take a look at in a sec that's a little bit of a mystery uh, as you can see, your small ring hammer and your standard tangent sight out to a thousand meters, your regular extractor, and your normal expected chamber mark. Again, this one's in the 190,000 serial number range. And also your standard Mauser markings on the side. And really nothing that stands out about this gun. Uh, standard grips, just looking at it, you'd go, oh, you're just looking at a regular Mauser. The interesting thing about this one is it is chambered in nine millimeter Luger. Now, I know that a lot of broom handles were converted at various times to nine millimeter Luger because all you really have to do is uh, bore the barrel out to be uh, wider because the 7.63 Mauser round and the 9mm Luger round will both feed without modification to the gun otherwise. So there is that possibility that that was done. However, the level of workmanship to do it on this gun is extremely well done. So if it was done, it's my belief that it was done on the uh, arsenal or certainly sort of mass production level probably for the rfv at the time of use in the 20s and 30s uh, it certainly wasn't done after that um, or it was a factory gun in nine millimeter by this point mauser was making a very small amount of special order guns in nine millimeter occasionally they have been documented they have been seen this does not have a grooved uh follower in it so it's it's impossible to tell and i'm not going to predict either way what it might have been so it could have either been a very limited run of some nine millimeter factory guns or it could have been a, a rework at the time of use in the 20s or 30s. Either way, very interesting since it is 9mm. And uh, I've seen a number of RFV guns that actually are in 763. 
I have also seen other RFV guns in 9mm, but the RFV used a lot of different pistols. You'll see PPs, you'll see PPKs, you'll see uh, Sours, you'll see all kinds of stuff marked with um, RFV numbers. They did use a lot of guns and they just kind of used whatever they, they could get their hands on. But there are a few, a uh, fair few broom handles floating around with RFV marks. So if you do encounter one, you know what you're looking at. And uh, just kind of an interesting gun that, with a history that, uh, that you can actually track, uh, knowing it was used and probably brought back by a GI after World War II as, as a form of trophy. Unfortunately, there's no capture papers or anything like that with that, this one. But uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look, a quick look at uh, an interesting variant of broom handle that you may come across if you are collecting these. And uh, hope you do stay tuned for more episodes of all kinds of broom handles and other guns and militaria. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, hope to see you soon.